Okay, uh, asked a really good question. Um, in, I'm in the 12-step uh, tw uh, food fellowships. And uh, in the food fellowships, um, uh, in the big book, it talks about addiction. Uh, sorry, it talks about allergies. And actually, for me, allergies, uh, you know, from Haw Hawkins, who was Bill Sponsee, allergies are actually uh, stem from belief systems. And if you just clear up the belief system, uh, you get that connection to God and cancel the belief system, the, the allergy no longer, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the allergy no longer takes effect. So the uh, analogy is just a belief system. I believe if I eat this, I'll have an allergic reaction, it's a belief. So if I just cancel the belief and surrender the belief to God, then I, you know, that I, there is immunity to that food. Now, certain groups and certain niches in 12-step in, in groups, can be very much into asking for an allergy and what food are you allergic to? Well, for me, um, if you have a very strong connection to God uh, in that infinite light and power, there is no allergic reaction to anything because there's transcendence of the world. The power is enough to keep you safe in all situations. However, if you've got a low vibration, no, not enough of a connection to God, and you have a belief in an allergic food, and you eat it, it will create uh, an effect. It will disconnect you. So um, in terms of, I mean, it's very much, um, if an individual is having problems of peer pressure, like you've got to have a food and tell us what your food is that you're allergic to, otherwise you're a fraud. Um, it's, 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 you know, it's an intuitive thing as to how you handle a situation like that in a group situation. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, um, uh, um, I, you know, I think, uh, you know, I, I for myself never talk about the allergies part. I don't like the doctor's opinion in the big book because for me, you can get to higher states of vibration and allergy, you know, like a, a, a love addict or a process addict, you know, they're getting their hits through certain behaviors and they can, you know, like a love addict can get an equal ecstasy hit from just seeing a person they like or a food addict who does a certain behavior can get an ecstasy hit. So it's not the external thing, it's the internal mechanism that needs to be surrendered up to God. So once you have that, so sometimes you may have to do some spiritual clearing and stand up for, um, stand up for the truth. Um, uh, if, um, uh, if you could please not, not use the chat, thank you. Um, and, um, if you could just sort of, um, if you stand up for the truth in you, if you feel that's the right thing to do in a group, then you will, um, you will, um, uh, you, you just have to clear all the attacks and everything that goes on in the group. As long as you feel that's intuitively the right thing to do, you can and just pray for the others. And people will eventually come to you who know that you stand in your truth and you have the vibration and God's backing. Sometimes it might not be the right timing to stand up if there's a huge number of people in the group that are sort of swaying the group and it may lead to, you know, it seems that they have too much power. Then you have to try and intuitively get the guidance as to how you're going to cope with that situation uh, or do a middle ground or, or sometimes if you just pray to the Holy Spirit. It'll give you words and ways of dealing with complex situations where you can still be in your integrity and uh, but the timing might not be right to go against, you know, a, a load of uh, members who are trying to control the group uh, and haven't had a, a strong spiritual awakening. Uh, in terms of my view, it's like, um, you know, I just sort of say in groups, uh, I'm 11 years abstinent, I haven't had body obsession for nine years straight, only one day of food obsession in nine years, and I have this neutrality, and I speak from my spiritual authority. And... Uh, and uh, spiritual authority given to me by God, and, and no one has ever questioned me. And uh, so, but you know, it, it can sometimes, you know, this spiritual growth thing in spiritual groups uh, where there's a lot of um, power struggles, it, it's, it's an area for spiritual growth. Okay, so I'm going to um, 